Okay, we're live in the Bronx with Junior's mother, Leandra Felice. Uh, apparently, she's just been told that she's banned from the courtroom indefinitely because she got upset during the cross-examination of Michael Sosa Reyes. Why did you say something out loud in court, and what did you say? I say all of them, they are killer. They kill my son. They are the killer, murderer. All of them are guilty. They kill my son, a little baby, 15 years old. Now they have a good, good, good agreement with this Mr. K. My son is dead. My son is gonna come back. Kevin Arbery has a, a good offer, time served. And then I'm afraid now, Michael Sosa Ray, you're trying to clean another one of the bad boy telling that he was no gang member and my son is dead and i don't want a, another agreement another good agreement like they've been doing it leaving all those killers out free and my son dead but you I'm so scared i'm afraid you didn't start screaming this time but you did start talking out loud in court and you said something in spanish after sosa said something in spanish what did he say that got you mad he said the felix another bad boy another killer the group of the bad boy, he's no bad boy. He no got, he's not gang member. And he say, Michael Sosa say, he wasn't gang member either since April 18. He was out with them though the night that your son was killed. He was with the bad boys and the Los Sores. Exactly. According to his testimony. So it's almost like you're agreeing with some of what the defense attorney was saying. That usually the defense attorney is going against the witness, the prosecution witness, and it's almost like you're upset with the prosecution witness. And how is that going to help you? The prosecutor is trying to win convictions for your son's death. And the way how they do whatever they do, they, are, they, they know the law better than me. I don't know the law. I'm not a lawyer. I just lost my son. Uh, they killed my, my little baby. I, I'm the mother of my son. I miss my son. I just need my son back. And they can do whatever they want. So you're upset that he was trying to say that he was not a I'm gang not member. Upset. I just want my son back. They kill my son. They all guilty. They all guilty. They kill my son. Fifteen men together, all for one baby with fifty years old. They give one year, per, one man per year. And my son has it. Fifteen. But do you understand that the prosecution needed to have someone that was a member of the gang to get the identifications on all the other people? including the alleged yes. stabbers. I do understand they needed the witness. They they pointing everybody, but um, Michael Sosa Reyes say that Felix, he's no gam, he's no Philly. bad boy. He was the other guy that was in the car with him. Yes. Philly now, rode in the passenger he's seat. He's trying to clean him too. He's already dismissed. And then he say his, uh, Felix is no gang member. Oh, so you think that this was calculated? I don't think nothing. I just know they killed my son altogether. The June 20th, 2018, all those 15 murder killing a kid, a minor kid, 15 years old. That's what. That's all what I know. So now when you left the court, you found out some information about whether or not you're allowed back? Are I, you allowed to go back? This is your I second outburst. I, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Did the I'm DA's not... office or the police or the judge they tell you? They told me for the moment, now you can, you're you not allowed to go back to the court for the rest of the day. I don't know in the future. Who told you that? The sergeant. The sergeant said you can't go back to court the rest of the day. Yeah, I don't know I don't know about the future. I have to wait and have a new information about it. The first time you said you had a nervous breakdown during Kevin Alvarez's cross-examination. He was the other star witness. Yeah. What is it about the cross-examinations of the two key witnesses that get you upset? It was too much. It was like accumulating every day, every day, every day. It's like a bomb and I explode one day. That's what happened to me. It's like a bomb and you explode it one day? Yes. Uh, but do you think that you're hurting the prosecution case by getting upset in court? I don't know. I don't know because I don't know how they, they work. I don't know how they, they, they do his job. I just know my pain and my loss of my son. Those key 50 men abuse a 15 years old kid and they kill him. It's my son only, it's my son. That's all what I think. When you went there today, did you think they were going to try to make Junior look bad in the cross-examination of Sosa? Were you upset or worried about that? I pre I'm really pretty sure my son is, was a good kid. He was not a member. The only real truth is he was in the exploring program doing good and he was in the best time in the school and I had a proof of that.
That's yes. what I have to look in. My son never been outside. My, my son never was um, uh, just starting to live his life, 15 years old. He did not have time to go out to be in, in anything. He was a good, good kid. So are you upset that you can't go back to court today? I mean, my decision doesn't count. They do whatever they want to do. do you whatever think they do, I can no opinion. I just, they, they're listening and holding up, everything will happen, and I, and, I, and, I, and I don't know what to do. My son is dead, I just need my son back. Do you understand why certain deals were made in order to get testimony that could maybe result in convictions of some of the people? Do you understand why the DA had to make some agreements. They need yeah, to. Yeah, they need. The, they need. The, they need the. They need the witness because the videos and the pictures is not enough. They needed to identify who was yeah, there. Yeah, and they all know each other. They 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 all know each other. They all know who was there. So what did your daughter? Was Genesis at court today? Yeah, she was. She went with me. Will she talk a minute, Gen Genesis? Genesis? Are you upset about your mother leaving court? Mary Murphy. Mm -hmm. I know. Um, no, I'm not upset about it. I feel like she had a reason to leave. She's upset. And what he's saying doesn't make sense to me. Not saying that I agree with the... Here. Come over here. I'm not saying that I agree with the defense, but he did say that they were members of that gang on Friday to the prosecutor. And now he's saying that he wasn't a member at the time and that Philly, which I forgot which one of them, but Philly is not... Um, part of the bad boys either. And is that, that Pacheco? That doesn't make sense to me. Pacheco is the name of the suspect. Philly, yeah, Philly. Philly got arrested for murder in the second degree. Uh -huh. And he has not gone to trial yet. Could you come out just one second so we can see you better? Thank you. So, Genesis, you were at trial on Friday when Michael Sosa Reyes took the stand. He testified he recognized Junior from having seen him previously. I believe you had met Michael Reyes at a party and Junior was there as well? Yeah, we both saw him one day. We didn't know him. We just, he was there. So we knew who he was. We, like, he, had, he was a familiar face. Was this at Adam's place that the party no, was held? No, it wasn't at Adam's place. It was somewhere in Highbridge. And how long before the murder did you meet Michael Reyes at a party? It was um, around March or April, like late March, early April. Of 2018. Of 2018 yes. And then when you saw him in the video, right? You know, at uh, first, I was so like, I was still in shock, so I didn't recognize him. I didn't realize it was him until I saw the name. And then I started to remember, I was like, wait, like, hold on, I've seen this guy before. And that's when it hit me. Do you believe that the reason he walked out of the bodega that night without dragging Junior was because he recognized your brother? Or do you think it was something else that he saw the cameras and got scared? I think he probably did recognize him, but I don't think it's because, like, he, he said that something changed in him. I don't think it was because of that. I think he knew what he was doing by walking out of the store, regardless of whether he recognized him or not. You don't think he left because he recognized your brother and that your brother was scared? I don't think so. You think it was because of the cameras? Yeah. So. I think he didn't want to get involved. I think he did that because he knew what was going to happen. He saw the cameras, and he was just, like, trying to not be as involved as the other guys were yeah. so were you bracing for them possibly saying negative things about your brother when the cross-examination started today with the defense lawyers um i wasn't expecting for them to say anything bad i kind of know that their focus was to kind of just get his like whole testimony like thrown out mm -hmm. i know that's what they're trying to do so i didn't wasn't expecting them to say anything about junior today Right. Do you think that will happen? Do you think they... I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that would definitely happen. So. And when they try to suggest that he was with Sunset and they show pictures and try to suggest he was in the photographs, what do you say to that? It's so stupid. It just looks ridiculous because he's obviously not in any of those pictures. So for you to uh, bring that to the court and show it to the jury and show it to like whoever's testifying, it just looks ridiculous. Like you look like you don't know what you're doing. They're obviously not. He's obviously not in the picture. What do you want your public to know about Junior? What kind of a boy he was? He was 15 when this happened. He was the best kid ever. He was literally the best kid ever. He was always happy. Um, he always tried his best in school because he always wanted to make me and my mom like proud of him. He always wanted us to be proud of him. And he always tried his best to make us be proud of him, including my dad, too. And the teachers said nice things about him when we met the teachers. He so. was loved by everybody. There's nobody that ever said that Junior was a bad kid or that they didn't like Junior. There's not a single person that can say that, that, that he was a kid. Not a single person. 
Not a single one. So, in terms of your mom and everyone saying how strong she was, she did have that very emotional outburst about two weeks ago, and she you called it a nervous breakdown. Yeah. Do you see things that we don't see the public in terms of how this impacts your mother? Yeah, I do all the time. Because whatever she doesn't show to the public, I see at home. Like, I live, we live together. I live with my mom, so I see what nobody else sees. And how has this hurt her and impacted her? More than I can even imagine. And I hate to see it. She it breaks my heart. Before. She mm. told me once when I when I couldn't call no more. She told me how I was crying. That's the same happened in my house. Nobody seen me. Nobody knows that. That moment is come out involuntary, but it's came. You can see. Do you think the tr trial is dragging on, or do you think they needed to put all the witnesses they have? I feel like this is taking too long. I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I don't really know anything about this, but I just feel like this is this is taking too long. They should. They know what to do. And your thoughts on the agreement they made with the two guys that testified, the I, two cooperating I witnesses? I don't like it at all. I feel like, all right, they had to make a deal. You're getting no jail time. Why do you need your charges dismissed as well? Why do you need to have your record clean? You're not clean. Everybody knows you're not clean. You're talking about Michael Sosa Reyes yes. here. So his record will be clean if they dismiss the charges. Yes. Whereas Kevin Alvarez, it's a little different. Yeah, he's he's getting time served. You know. And that would be for the conspiracy in the fourth degree. Yeah. And the manslaughter conviction might be withdrawn or the guilty plea might be withdrawn. All right, so what do you do now, Leandra? No. You can't go back to court today, right? No, I cannot go back today. I'm just afraid for the future mothers who have kids. And the situation that happened to me is happening again with somebody else because it's already passed on me. And I'm afraid for the rest of the future kids in the in New York, in Bronx, New York. We need somebody who help us to save the community and to save the regular people and to save regular people as me. And just regular normal person who walk inside the garbage people like all those kind of murder. They find my son and kill him just for fun, for reason, for nothing, for mistake, whatever they did. They kill a baby. That's, that's what they have to be focused. My son is dead because 50 men killed a baby together. We're they have to pay for what they did. Please, justice for Junior. We're coming up on the first anniversary on June 20th. Do you think there's any change in the Bronx that's been for the better that you've noticed for the young people? Probably um, the, the, a lot of kids have got frustrating. they so scared to be out. A lot of kids, they think it better, the way to see their life and community outside and gang member. This is an example for a lot of family who's been, you know, taking this as your son to help the family. That's what I think that happened. All right, so we hope to see you back in court soon. And we thank you for speaking to us. We thank you, Genesis Jr.'s sister, his only sister, right? Yeah. His older sister. I guess you're going home now, is that right? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.